So today is one of my first days of my vlog and it's a little noisy here um, so I'm not going to stay too long but I'm going to tell you that there is um, something to be said about being over 50 um, and an empty nester really looking to figure out how your new purpose in life um, opens up and when you have children, you already understand what that purpose is, right? Your purpose is to make sure that uh, these people grow up to be um, valued, uh, valuable, and that they are, um, or that they're healthy, and that they can uh, sustain, sustain themselves. So we put a lot of work into that, and then when they finally leave, it might take a couple of years. It doesn't just happen right away that you start feeling that empty nest feeling and kind of figure wondering what's your purpose it may take somewhere between uh, five and ten years after they leave your home for you to actually say okay so now what am i supposed to be doing with my life well today i'm having coffee with my sweetheart <laughs> And uh, we get to have coffee, so ta-da! Anyway, there. So I wanted to share that because I've done a lot of different things uh, when it comes to working and supporting the women in my community, and uh, I needed to really sit back and say, what am I doing for me? And so I'm learning a couple of things uh, differently and doing things differently to take care of myself um, with the support of my husband uh, in learning how to care for myself so that I'm, I can sustain myself in living and also finding purpose and hope. Um, when you're no longer caring for children, you know, you may have grandchildren, but even that's limited. And they're quite frank. You really want to give them, them grandbabies back after a couple of hours. I mean, well, that's how I feel. You know, I love my grandchildren, but, you know, when they get to doing the whining and crying thing, then I go, oh, that's why you got a mom. Okay. <laughs> you can sit back with her. So, anyways, but that's, uh, that's the beginning of my... This, I will say, I will mark my day one as vlogging um, into my new area of success. I've had all these different types of success, but I wanted to document this type of success um, at this point in my life when I don't have small children in my life and I'm truly being in the adult, um, living and thriving and learning how to do that better. So, and, and learning how to do it from a place where I'm, uh, I feel well, you know, because we go through all these different things, we don't always feel well. We've had different um, issues that have come in our lives, and so we keep going back to that issue, and we don't heal from it. Uh, we say we're healed from it. We say, oh, I've healed my abandonment. I've healed this thing, and I've done all my work. Uh, you don't know that, bruh. You don't know that until you get put in a position where um, you're looking at a, you know, a messed up mirror of yourself and, and it doesn't look so pretty. So that's where I'm at my life right now, fixing and correcting those things so that I can actually say that I'm thriving. I'm And the reason why I acquire what I do, that I manifest purposely, I'm I, that I'm getting the chance to manifest um, out of feeling good instead of manifesting out of um, pain, right? Because of an emergency or whatever. So, well, that's what I wanted to say. I'm not going to take long because I want to sip on my coffee and talk to my sweetheart. Well, blessings and I'll be back again. Okay.